Before I get too far into this, I want to give credit to a post on the subreddit Hobby Drama made by Reddit user Purplewig, as well as a post on the Scotland subreddit made by user Ultac, as they are the primary sources of information for this video. Wikipedia doesn't really need an introduction, mainly because it's one of the oldest and most used sources of information on the internet. However, over the years, it has drawn some controversy mainly due to its claim that it's the encyclopedia that anyone can edit. And although the sites become much more strict regarding what types of edits are accepted, the stigma still persists through this day and many still view Wikipedia as an unreliable source of information. Despite all this, Wikipedia has continued to grow, and it's even expanded its contents to over 329 different languages, with one of these languages being the subject of today's video, Scots. Scots is a language spoken in Scotland and parts of Ireland, and as you can imagine, it's the native language of Scotland. It's recognized internationally as an official language, however, there are some who challenge that notion, citing its similarity to English as the main reason, calling it a dialect of English instead. Many people who think like this tend to point to the fact that in Scotland, the many colloquialisms of Scots and Scottish English are very similar to each other, and it can be hard to distinguish between the two at times. The key takeaway here is that Scots is its own complicated language with its own grammar, rules, spellings, and you get the point. If you wanted to speak Scots, you would quite literally have to learn another language. You can't just put on a funny accent and then continue on. And now this brings us back to the Scots Wikipedia. Initially made in 2005, many Scottish internet users grew to dislike the site throughout the years, as its many articles were rife with grammatical errors, misspellings, and sometimes complete and total gibberish. And now enter a wiki user that we'll be calling AG. Important side note, the source that I'm using originally called them AG as well. I was initially going to refer to them as their full screen name. However, since this has happened, other unrelated people to the story have taken up the same online handle, so I will also be referring to the original person as AG. AG made their account back in 2013, and soon after began making countless articles and edits. After that, due to their dedication, they ended up becoming the main administrator of the Scots Wikipedia having created over 27,000 articles and having edited 200,000 more, which, at one point, was over a third of all the content on the site. And that brings us to the controversy. On August 25th, 2020, a Reddit user named Oltak made a post named, I've discovered that almost every single article on the Scots version of Wikipedia is written by the same person, an American teenager who can't speak Scots. Originally posted on the Scotland subreddit, Oltak provides the reasons as to why they think the Scots Wikipedia is so bad. AG doesn't even know the language that they've been writing articles for. To quickly summarize this post, many of the articles written by AG seem to just be articles from the English Wikipedia translated one-to-one, -one, Scots. AG had admitted previously that they frequently used the Scots Online Dictionary as a resource. The Scots Online Dictionary is disliked by a lot of Scottish people as it lacks a lot of information on the language, and it seems that AG would just copy and paste the first result for whatever term they were looking up regardless of the context for it. Related to this, it's also speculated for a number of reasons that AG would also use a Scots to English translator online. And there are three key points for this that people use. The first being, Scots grammar is completely ignored in these articles. Second being, some English sentences or phrases are left completely untranslated. And the third being, words that only exist in Scots and don't have an English equivalent are rarely ever used, and when they are, it's almost always used incorrectly. Additionally, AG would combine or misuse terms from both Scots and Scots English. Reminder, these are two entirely different languages. On top of all this, AG would seemingly phonetically spell out English words as if it were said by someone with a Scottish accent. To put it bluntly, at best AG was mistranslating stuff. At worst, he was downright making up shit. Shortly after Alltalk posted this, the story blew up. It gained the attention of mainstream news outlets, and the Scots Wikipedia itself got locked. This was both to deal with the controversy itself, as well as to deal with the large amount of trolls that this whole ordeal attracted. And that brings us to the aftermath. Not only did this affect the Scots Wikipedia, but it also affected the Scots language as a whole. This had an impact on the Scots Online Dictionary, as well as documents made by the Scottish government itself. Now this may seem outlandish, but for a while the Scots Wikipedia was the largest resource of information for the language online. And several grammatical quirks in the language started to show up and they could only really be traced back to the Scots Wikipedia, more specifically articles made by AG. And the same Reddit user from earlier, Ultak, goes into this further on a comment. The post itself was just a meme, but Ultak ended up commenting on the word choice and the spelling specifically in it. The EE spellings are actually a really interesting rabbit hole. They generally only appear in three places, Scots Wikipedia, the online Scots Dictionary, and materials published by the Scottish government. The current theory, as formulated by the good folks on the Scots Lead Discord, goes like this. 
Early Scots Wikipedia editors have tried very hard to make it look more different from English. They see that EE as a substitute for English Y or I is historically attested in a very small number of Scots words in a very limited capacity. They decide to apply it to everything. When the online Scots dictionary is being put together, they take a lot of words from the Scots Wikipedia, since even at that early stage it was probably the biggest online resource for Scots and nobody really expected them to just make up a whole fake version of the language. OSD is the first semi-professional looking site that comes up when you google Scots translation, so the government interns responsible for translating pamphlets and web pages and whatnot just use it out of laziness. Now as you can imagine this also hurt the credibility of the language as a whole. As detractors against Scots cited how one American teenager could seemingly make up grammatical rules and convince people that they are a fluent speaker without knowing any of the practices of the language. Speaking of the American teenager, whatever happened to AG? Well, following the controversy, they released a statement saying, Honestly, I don't mind if you revert all my edits, delete my articles, and ban me from the wiki for good. I've already found out that my contributions have angered countless people, and to me, that's all the devastation I can be given. After years of my thinking I was doing good, and yes, obsessively editing, I have OCD. I was only a 12 year old kid when I started, and sometimes when you start something young, you can't see that the habit you've developed is unhealthy and unhelpful as you get older. I don't care about defending myself. I only want to stop being harassed on my social medias, and to stop my other friends who have nothing to do with the wiki from being harassed as well. Whether peace can by SkoWiki being kept like it is or extensively reformed to wipe my influence from it makes no difference to me now that I know that I've done no good anyway. Soon after this, AG deleted their Twitter, as well as stepping away from their wiki account. But for a brief time in 2022, they began once again editing pages on both the English and Scots Wikipedia. However, for the most part, these edits are small, and they tend to be mostly either small formatting changes or them adding related images to the articles. As for the Scots Wiki, some Wiki users did some digging after the story broke, and found out that there were several other people in the Scots Wikipedia who were also editing it despite every single one of them claiming they weren't that familiar with the language. None of them were as prolific as AG was, however all of them had at least over a thousand edits each. Also if it matters, one of the users claimed that these edits were made mostly for administration and site maintenance purposes. However, some of the people in the group were also admins like AG. It turns out that this has been a problem on the wiki for a long time, as some of the oldest admins dating all the way back to the wiki's launch in 2005 didn't have a strong understanding of Scots. To be more specific, only one person in the group of founding members identified as being a native speaker of the language. A second person in the group claimed that they knew a little and they wanted to learn more. This was also a sentiment shared amongst the rest of the group. It seems that while the wiki started out of both of a genuine desire to help provide information and teach others about the language, the site quickly became a joke, becoming more apparent as the years passed. Shortly after the controversy, one of the admins on the Scots wiki did an AMA on the Scotland subreddit. And while there are a lot of opinions discussed in this thread, one common sentiment was that the wiki not only needed to delete AG's articles, but also add some kind of verification to prevent this from happening again. I bring this up to mention the fact that there was a growing amount of Scottish users who wanted the wiki to be deleted entirely, specifically calling it a mockery of their language. The wiki did consider this option, however, going forward they decided it was best to completely remove the pages that were made entirely by AG, while others were corrected with the help of volunteers. Even the Scots Language Center got involved, dubbing it the Big Wiki Rewrite. These corrections are still going on to this day, however. As a direct result of this, the wiki's pages have gone down in quantity, but have gone up in quality. As of the time of recording, there are currently over 36,000 articles which are accurate to the language, down from the over 50,000 there were originally. So, originally the ending of this video was going to be a joke, saying something like, maybe the true moral of the story is to use a source other than Wikipedia. But as I've been reading into this more, I've realized there's a lot more to the story than I initially thought. Like, what was originally intended to be a video joking about a kid who hijacked a wiki turned into me finding out this is an issue which ties back to the site's founding and it may or may not have had a lasting impact on the public's perception of the language. And this also ties back into a problem with Scottish culture itself, how there are some people who think that due to their history, Scotland is incapable of self-governance. And these people would often point to the Scots Wikipedia as an example of how they think their own languages are a sham. I'm not really sure how to end this still. Not everything has a message and there's not really a happy ending here. Like, yeah, the Wikipedia is better now, but it came after more or less making the site, and by proxy, the Scots language as a whole, a joke in the eyes of many. It also looks pretty bad on Wikipedia's end because they let this go unnoticed for so long. Although, that's the part that matters the least here, honestly. 
I will say that there have been active efforts to preserve the native languages of Scotland. And from what I can see looking in, it seems that in recent years, more and more Scottish people are taking pride in their heritage and in campaigning to stop their languages from being phased out in educational or federal settings. It's nice to see, really. If you do actually know any Scots, the Scots Wiki could really use the help, I'm sure. Also, please don't use this video as an excuse to vandalize the wiki under the guise of helping. They really don't need any more of that. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.